everybody, welcome back, it's Theodore here, and today this is gonna be like a really random video, but I really wanted to try this new film that I got. It is the Polaroid Pink Film. Um, uh, yeah, this is the 600 film, so you're supposed to use a 600 film camera, but I think I'm gonna be using my um, Polaroid One Step <laughs> 2. <laughs> so yeah, that's the camera that I'm gonna be using it with, and so yeah. Let's go try it out. So, this is where my camera is at. I do have the blue film and the gray film. Uh, should I film both of those today too? I don't know. But this one is the camera we are going to be using. Um, the 600 camera is right here. And also the SX70 is over there, but that one does not work. Oh, I have another camera. Hold on. This guy right here, he works. He works, so I don't know if I should use this guy. Oh wait, I can't use him because he's a uh, SX70 film only. But I was told by somebody that you can actually use um, 600 film uh, in this guy too. So I'm not sure if I could, I should do that. But yeah, this guy works. But yeah, for now though, I'm, I think I'm gonna use this guy. Hopefully he's charged up. Are you charged up? Is it flashing? Oh, I probably need to put film in it. Okay. Anyways, okay. Let's get going. This is the one step camera and this is the SX70 film. Um so Whoa! It does come right off. Okay, well that leaves like a huge mess. No. <laughs> Should have just cut it. We got the how to make Greek photos brochure. Every Polaroid brings a little magic to life. And don't shake it, and then you have to shield it from light right after you take a picture of it. So pretty standard stuff. Okay, oh, I thought my film was exposed for a minute there. Well, that really scared me. Where's the arrow? Oh, the arrow goes this way, so I put it in this way. Whoa, look at that, look at that. The frog tongue came out. Which I find this frog tongue is a little bit longer than my 600 film camera. Um, my 600 film camera doesn't even hold it out. Like it'll cover it and then it'll go right back in. So that's a upside to this new camera. So I have eight exposures to work with right now. So yeah, let's go take pictures. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see if this works. <laughs> Okay, so it's been about five minutes since I've taken the picture. So initially when I first took it, this whole picture was blue. Now it's turning pink. Wow, I'm so excited. I want to see what it looks like. But yeah, now I'm keeping it in my pocket again. Okay, we're gonna go take more pictures. So I tried getting Sammy and that was a fail. So we're gonna try to do Jack again. And this time I'm just gonna be switching the light to like darker. Oh no, brighter right here, the plus sign. Um, I want the lens to be a little bit more exposed because we are indoors. So yeah, I don't want the picture to be too dark. Jack, look at me, Jackie. You that, oh no, Jack, Jack, Jack. No, sit, good boy. Jack, look at me. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> look what I mean by this being all blue. Look, it's pink film, but it's blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to put it in something dark. Okay, so now I put it on this nice and small tripod. It's kind of small, it's pretty big actually. But um, we're gonna be setting the self timer and I'm gonna be taking a picture with my dogs. You gotta lay down. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold Jack. Jack. Jack! Oh my gosh. That was an effort. Oh my gosh. Okay. Taking it out. Ah! Putting it dark. Dark place under my shirt. Is this a good pose, guys? Oh, so now you want to pose, Jack. Oh, okay. I see you. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh my god. That flash is so blinding. Okay. I'm gonna hide it under my shirt. Ding! So it's been well over 20 minutes and these are the pictures that I've taken. This is the first picture taken outside. This is the second picture taken inside. This is the third picture taken inside as well. And this one is the fourth picture also taken inside. These three pictures had the biggest exposure on the camera turned on. So those three right there. And this one was just at the medium exposure. So aside from the price, I really have nothing to complain about this film. In comparison to the iType film, which is $15.99, this is quite expensive. But because it is special pink film, I guess I can be a little bit more lenient. But yeah, I thought this film was okay. Definitely not something I would shoot on a daily basis, but for special occasions and when I feel a little bit artsy, this would be the film. So that is it you guys and I hope that was a very helpful and informative video for you guys. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!